Hey guys, I'm James with Torches and Tactical, and today we're going to talk about a bunch of different Wubins. Now, I mean, yes, technically they're all the same one, but I'm going to go through the green, the blue, the white, and the black production version of the X3 and compare not only the charging cases, but also compare the actual light itself to the production version that I've already reviewed for you guys. So if you do want to check out the review on the production version, I will put a little link up here so you guys can click on that and see exactly what I thought of this. Uh, I will give you the abridged version though. I thought it was fantastic. There were just a couple minor issues. So let's go ahead and compare. Uh, let's, let's pick the white one since it is the closest. So let's go ahead and compare the production version to the prototype version and see the differences. In addition to that, let's run through all the different settings, specifications, and options so you guys can make the most informed decision for yourself. So for starters, let's go ahead and look at the prototype version. Now we have Wubin X3 down here. We have a large wireless charging pad here, and this did carry over, so that's one thing I'm really glad to see. However, one thing I can tell you is that the screen on the prototype version, here it is glass. So when you turn it on, you get your indicator. This is a glass screen here, and I really, really like that. However, one thing I did notice is that on the production version, it seems to be plastic. Uh, there is a little bit of flex to it, and that is one thing that I wish would have carried over from the prototype, is the fact that they could have had that glass screen and it would have made it that much more robust and in a lot of instances look better too. So we'll set this down here for just a second. And one more thing on the prototype version, is on the base you have these magnetic feet. Now, I, I like the magnetic feet. It was able to it was able to work quite well. And with that 180 degree rotating head, you're able to direct light wherever, absolutely wherever you need it. They were able to keep those magnetic feet on the production version. Let's go ahead and grab blue for this one. They were able to keep those feet on the production version, which I really do appreciate but they actually went a little above and beyond. They added these two charging contacts. So when it's using the charging case, instead of charging wirelessly inside the case, you have those two little magnetic contacts to go ahead and get things booting up. So let's go ahead and take that out one more time. And speaking of charging, they did add one additional charging option. They already have the charging case. They have the wireless charging, which I will show you here in a second, but they also added a standalone base. Now, if you ordered on Kickstarter, this was available as an option, but I think they consider this their standard version uh, on their website. And you can see the little contact pads here. So when you set your X3 down, when it's plugged in, of course, but when you set your X3 down, it will go ahead and charge up that light. And it's a very convenient base just to be able to pop this on and off if you ever need access to a flashlight at any given time. Now one absolutely huge difference that I really do appreciate is on the prototype version, this whole charging case, I, it does charge wirelessly. There are no contacts in there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it does charge wirelessly. And in doing so, they actually had to make the case out of plastic. Um, that gives it a, I mean, it feels really nice. It doesn't feel cold like it would if it were made out of metal, uh, aluminum or steel but they ditched the plastic on this. They added in those contact feet down in the bottom. And in addition to that, they did make this entire case one piece and out of aluminum. So I think it feels really, really nice, but it does feel a little bit colder than the prototype version. So guys, that's it as far as the differences that I noticed between the prototype version and any of the production versions. So what I wanna do now is I wanna get this out of the way and as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and show you these colors. So this is their green option. It's a very, very dark green, uh, almost emerald-like. And I, I hope that the color is coming through correctly on camera. But we'll compare it to the blue. I mean, you have the all-black bezel on this side with the white bezel on this side. Looks very, very nice. Now, for some reason, the white one did not come with the option with the white case. If you want the white case, you do have to choose the blue X3. So just keep that in mind if you like the look of the white aluminum case. So we'll go ahead and set the green down. And then like the prototype, this is white. And this is the only version that has the glow in the dark. 
So it has those blue indicators, the, <laughs> the breathing lights, if you will, and those will actually help charge up this case. So the case does have some glow-in-the-dark properties that look really, really cool. Um, however, they are not the strongest. And finally, you have the all-black version. Now, this was not available as a prototype either, so I'm glad to see that it is available now. So you can flip this side to side. And then now that you've seen the colors, I'm gonna go ahead and remove a couple of these. So let's get the green one out of the way and the white one as well, because that's too close to the prototype version. Now, one other thing I didn't talk about is the fact that there are different emitter choices as well. So let's go ahead and move that knife and let's go ahead and turn this blue one on first. So you have one white emitter here. And while it's off, if you press and hold, it will switch over to a red luminous SST 10. So you have two emitters here. I mean, you have two emitters on all of them, but you have two different emitters. So you have white and red. And on this black one, I had it optioned. So if you press it and turn it on, now here you can see that there, you have two of the same emitter. So this one is capable of producing 1200 lumens, while the white one or the, any of the dual emitters is capable of producing 700 lumens from that white emitter and 80 lumens from that red emitter. In addition to that, uh, there are other modes. So those are just the maximums. But while we're focusing on the specifications, now the X3, if you get the dual emitter version, this has a one lumen low mode with up to 50 hours of runtime. You also have a medium, which is 50 lumens. You have high, which is 200 lumens. And if you go turbo or that double press, that's 1200 lumens with 151 meters of throw. And if you care about the numbers, it is 5,700 candela but it is also drop resistance rated to one meter and IP65. Total dimensions are 70 millimeters by 35 millimeters by 21 millimeters, and this comes in at 70 grams. So very, very light with the amount of stuff you're able to get. Now this does have that charging base. This is just the standard pack, not the pro with the charging case. And I have to say that it works quite well. One thing I would have liked to see is some sort of uh, option for Velcro or adhesive here. So but we will dig into that packaging here in just a second. Now, as far as the dual emitter option, here you have a one lumen low mode, 50 lumens for medium, 150 lumens for high, and 700 for turbo. Now, if you do switch it over, that red emitter will give you either one lumen for low or 80 lumens for high. So let's go ahead and look inside the packaging here. Now for your dual emitter option, you have your user manual. Now the light actually came in on one side. Let's go ahead and take this out. The light came in on one side and underneath that, now don't, don't toss the box out without checking underneath your packaging. I will show you that Wuben has done something that I think no other manufacturer has done and that is impress me with a charging cord. Uh, this does carry over from the prototype version However, they made one small twist. So this does open up and you get not only a USB-C charging cord, but also a lanyard and it works quite well. However, there's one small change. Now I know not everybody uses USB-C. So what they've done, it is new, so it is kind of difficult to get out. But what they've done is on the side, they've included an adapter. So you can still plug in, here we go. Boom, and you, you can charge your iPhones with this cable. So really, really nice, uh, thoughtful use of the space that you have here. Now the head of this one is just a little bit larger than the prototype version. So this works really, really well, and I'm glad that they were able to carry that through. And here's the box. There's nothing in it currently, but here is the box that the charging brick or the charging case came in. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way and look at the box for the dual white emitter. All right, so we have the dual white emitter here. Again, you have your user manual. I recommend reading at least reading through it once. The box here, this is where your charging case came in, or rather charging base. And you also have your charging cable. And that's about it. Oh, here, let's go ahead and put this back in there. 
And that's about it. So on the back, you do have all your specifications, the Osram P90 emitter. And in addition to that, it'll list if it's the standard version or the advanced version, and it'll list all the dimensions on there as well for you. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Now, if you guys could see like around my filming area, I just have Wubin X3 boxes galore. It's kind of ridiculous. So now let's focus on the light itself. Now I'm gonna run through this pretty quick because you guys have already seen uh, the majority of this during my explanation of the differences. So you have your two new charging contacts on the bottom. And again, I think this is really nice. They do sit recessed, so you don't have to worry about shorting anything out. So if you do use this as a physical magnetic work light, uh, you don't have to worry about shorting anything out because they do sit inside the anodized magnetic foot. On the back, you have, it seems quite a bit stiffer than the prototype version. Uh, I, I don't notice any physical differences, but it does feel stiffer than the pr prototype version. You have all your necessary signage here. Now, one really nice thing on the prototype version, I was noticing that I would constantly change or try to change rather directions of the 180 degree swivel ahead. I, I would do it the wrong way all the time. So it's really nice that similar to the L1, they did go ahead and put a 180 degree turn indicator here. So you can go ahead and you know exactly which way to turn at any given time. I really, really do appreciate that. So now it's a forward facing work lamp or if you need to clip it to a vest or anything, you can go ahead and have it here facing away from this pocket clip so it'll be held up on your pocket or you know, wherever. So they have this really nice aluminum bezel here and everything sits recessed and down in, so you don't have to worry about scratching that glass lens. So again, uh, really thoughtful in their design, making sure that things will continue to last for quite some time. So I do have this power bank here that has wireless charging built into it. So I'll go ahead and turn this on and set it down. And you see that blue glowing light. Now that's telling you that this is wireless charging. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hold it here. So you can see it does show the batteries at 90% right there. So this is getting a charge wirelessly from, well, I mean, this will work with any Qi based wireless charging. So pretty, pretty cool setup because I wanna show you just how user-friendly this charging base is. Now, again, it didn't include any, but I would have loved to have seen some sort of adhesive or Velcro to be able to utilize this. So let's go ahead and move these out of the way. And when your battery's running low, just go ahead, plop it right there, and it'll start charging up immediately. Uh, there's, there's no issues at all with getting this to plug in, and uh, the, the feet here make really, really good contact. So your light's always ready to go if you just simply drop it on that base. Now, I, I would love to see that adhesive because I think this could make it a light where everyone just has it on their counter and it's always there for emergency purposes or what have you. And I think that that would open up their customer base quite a bit if I'm being frank. Now, if we continue on, it, I already talked about that 180 degree swivel head and it's really, really nice. However, it does lead to one a tiny minor issue. Now, since it is completely disconnected, except for the wires, of course, since it is completely disconnected from the body, that doesn't give a lot of room for heat dissipation. So if you sit there and let's go ahead and turn this on high. So 700 lumens here, you can already start to feel heat building up on that head and it doesn't really have anywhere to go. So you will notice a little bit of warmth. Now, one positive about that is the fact that the, the actual body of the light will stay quite a bit cooler because all that heat is staying in the head. Now, I don't know long term what that's going to mean as far as longevity for the LEDs or the driver or anything like that, but I like the fact that it makes holding the light more comfortable, but if you touch the bezel or the head, uh, you will notice that heat a little bit in there. So let's go ahead and dive into the user interface now, and I will go ahead and start with Sorry, I was making sure it was set to the lowest mode. So if you do a simple press of the button, this will turn on your white emitter in one lumen mode. You can press and hold. That'll go to 50. Then we got high for 150. Now, if you want to go to turbo, all you got to do is double press and you're at 700 lumens. But again, this is just that one white emitter. Now, if you want to go straight into turbo, you can do two presses even while it's off. And that will go straight into that 700 lumen turbo mode. Let's go ahead and shut it off. And now if you do three presses, one, two, three, it will access your strobe. If you do three more, it will go to an SOS mode as well. 
Now, strobe was not present on the prototype version. However, it is available on the production versions. So that's one really nice thing to have. Now, if you wanna access that red emitter, all you gotta do is press and hold, and that'll go to your one lumen red mode. And you can press and hold again. This is 80 lumens of that SST10 red emitter. So that's pretty much it as far as the user interface on the dual emitter goes. Dual white emitter, you can press that switch and it will go to your one lumen mode. You can press and hold again, 50 lumens. Press and hold one more time. Now, instead of 150 on the dual white emitter, it does jump up to 200. And if you double press, this is 1200 lumens now. So very, very cool white light from that Osram P9 emitter. And I don't know if you guys can pick this up, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up to the camera. I'm sorry if it gets a little bright. Can you guys hear that? This is one thing I've noticed with, with the dual emitter or dual white version is I can hear a lot of driver whine while that dual white emitter is, well, it gets louder the brighter it gets. So I notice it when it's low. However, if I go to turbo, it is substantially louder. So if you are ever using your X3 and you notice that there's quite a bit of noise coming from somewhere, uh, frankly, it may, be, it may be your light if you got the version with the dual white emitters. So now what I wanna do so you guys can make as informed a decision as humanly possible is I wanna take the dual white emitter version of the X3 as well as the dual emitter. So you have the white and the red. I wanna take both these out so you guys can see exactly how the 700 lumens compares all the way to 1200 lumens. So you can find out if you really do want that red light or if you just want a little bit of extra bright and that driver wine is something that you're willing to live with. So let's go ahead and get these outside and we'll compare 700 lumens, the red emitter and the 1200 lumens from the Osram P9 and then we'll come back in and I'll give you my final thoughts. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, we've looked at every aspect of the Wubin X3. So now let's look at the beam shots at night. So for starters, I'm gonna pick the dual, uh, has the red and white emitter version. So I'm just simply gonna turn this on. Now this is the one lumen moonlight mode. Probably can't see anything where you're at, except for the fact that this is glowing. So this is that breathing indicator. It shows up when you're charging, as well as when you have the light on, unless you disengage it. Now I'm gonna press and hold. This is that 50 lumen medium mode. Press and hold one more time. Now on the red and white emitter version, uh, the high is 150 lumens. And if we wanna to go to turbo, I'll do a quick double press. Now this is 700 lumens with the red and white emitter version of the production X3. Now with it off, I can press and hold. And this is 80 lumens from the red SST10 emitter. And I'll press and hold one more time. Now we are at one lumen with that red SST10, but this probably isn't all that visible to you guys. And to compare, here's the dual white emitter version of the Wubin X3. So simply pushing the button, we'll turn it on. Here's that one lumen low mode. I'll press and hold. This is 50 lumens for medium. Now on this particular version, I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold again, but this will jump to 200 lumens. So this is 200 lumens for high. And if we want all 1200 lumens, we'll do a simple double press. This is 1200 lumens from the Wubin X3 with the dual white emitters in Osram P9 form. And on both of these, we can do a triple press and it will activate a tactical strobe. All right, so now that we saw the dual white emitter versus the red and white emitter version of the production X3, let's go ahead and get back inside. All right, guys, we went outside and we compared the red and white emitter version of the X3 as well as the dual white emitter version of the X3. Now, in addition to that, we also saw the charging base, we saw the charging case in multiple colors, and we even compared it to the prototype version. And that is this one right here. So we looked at a whole bunch of these options. Now we're focusing solely on the output of 
the red and white versus the dual white. And I have to say that I, I, I think that having the dual white gives an amazing amount of light output, although it does come in at a very, very cool temperature, but it gives an amazing output. However, I think for me personally, the having the red and white is going to be where it's at. Uh, you don't get that same driver wine, or at least my specific light doesn't have that same driver wine. So it's a really, really nice light. Um, because it only hits at 700 lumens too, you don't really have the same issue as far as building heat in the head of this light. Now, my prototype version had the glass screen, and I, again, I would have loved to see that carry over to the production version. But just the fit and finish and the small changes that they've made to this make this a fantastic light to have. I like the fact that you can use any of these X3s on any of the charging bases, and it works really well. Uh, it's, a, it's a light that can very easily blend its way into any home, so you're able to have a light for any situation. So guys, uh, I'm very, very happy with the X3. I know that you guys would be too. Uh, it's all gonna come down to what colors you wanna get, whether you want the blue, the black, the white, or even the green. So you gotta make that choice for yourself. And then you gotta decide if you wanna go ahead and get the charging base or the charging case. So case or base. Now I'm not the ace of base, but I do see the sign. I see the sign that Wubin is probably gonna sell a whole bunch of these. So if you are in the market for a fantastic light, the Wubin X3 may just be that. Uh, and if you do want to go ahead and pick up one of these of your own, click on that link down below and use the coupon code TORCHES and you'll save 10% off your purchase. Now, that being said, I do have one final thing. I love the fact that you guys are liking these videos. And if I could get you to, I'd love it if you could like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel because that helps me. And plus, once we hit 1,500 subscribers, we do have a massive giveaway coming. So just help prepare for that and be here so you won't miss it. Now, if you do click that notification bell, that'll let you guys know as soon as we put that video out. So if you want to be part of that massive giveaway, go ahead and click that notification bell and you'll be one of the first to hear about it. So thank you guys so much and we'll see you in the next one.